As we begin another day, let us pause for a minute of silence. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, fellow Titans. I want to start this morning by shouting out the members of our facility services team. They have worked so hard throughout the summer to get our building ready for the opening of school in spite of the fact that we had innumerable summer programs going on in the building and a renovation of the Roby High School space. Tonight, we're going to take them to dinner as we celebrate them and their so important role that they play on our team. One of our uh, members of our facility services team, Carmela Ojeda, will be retiring at the end of the day today after more than 10 years of service here at Dominion High School. Miss Ojeda will be returning to her home country of Peru next month to uh, enjoy her retirement. We are so grateful to you, Miss Ojeda, for how you have blessed Dominion High School with your presence here over the last 11 years. We I want to take some time to celebrate you, Titans. I appreciate the way we, as a team, as a community, executed a single game plan to keep ourselves, get ourselves prepared for safe evacuations in the future as we conducted yesterday's fire drill. It's crucial as a community of 1,700 people, 1,500 students, 200 staff, that we have one way of operating. And that not only applies to evacuations, like fire drills, but it also applies to what we do in our bathrooms and our cafeterias and hallways. That's why we're taking so much time to teach explicitly things like what you should do with your phone in the classroom. It's best for all of us to be one team working off the same sheet of music. Thank you for doing that yesterday during our fire drill, staff and students, you did a fantastic job. Speaking of teams, we had many teams in athletic action last night, including the season opener for our cross country team. This morning, I wanna share with you the women's results. Tuesday, I'll share with you the men's results. Second place finisher in a meet involving seven schools was Sophia McCroson. What a great start to your season, Sophia. Other top finishers for the Titans included Lily Domenkos, Lindsey Miller, and Ella Kerber. Our field hockey team went to overtime for a third time in their four matches this season. Yaz Pirzade, with some huge saves, preserved the shutout through regu regulation into overtime until Sydney Green put a ball in the back of the box in OT to give the Titans a one to nothing victory over the lightning of light Ridge. Our volleyball team traveled to Ashburn where freshmen won two sets to none and the junior varsity prevailed two sets to one in a thrilling match over the Spartans tonight, athletically at seven 15 down in falls church at Meridian high school, our varsity football team will be in competition for the second time. We hope you'll show up and support them. I want to talk about prayer procedures. Just want to clarify, it's 1.30 to 1.45. The room is not open 
for other flexible times. This is our agreement as a staff and as Muslim Student Association who has taken the lead on this initiative. We need to all be on the same page about that. So once again, I just ask teachers and students alike, you got to approve that e-hall pass promptly at 1.30. And students, you got to be back in class by 1.45. That's our game plan. Speaking of prayer and MSA, the first interest meeting of the Muslim Student Association will be held on Tuesday, September 5th, after school in room L109. It's open to everyone. Questions can be directed to Madam Woolley in L109. Also on Tuesday, the eSports team is recruiting for the fall season. If you're interested in playing League of Legends or Rocket League at a competitive level, come to the interest meetings Tuesday and Thursday after school in room 603, or you can see Mr. Eisminger in room 603 for additional information. Our theater department will be holding auditions for our fall play <clears throat> on Tuesday and Wednesday after school. Let's check out their trailer. So Titans, we hope you'll be out to audition for our fall play. On Wednesday and Thursday, students, we need you to bring your fully charged Chromebook to school. We need you to do that every day, but we're going to spend the first hour of school on Wednesday and Thursday taking the annual iReady literacy test. Doing well, students, means you take it just once throughout the course of the year. We want you to give your best effort. It gives us an opportunity to make sure we are serving each and every one of you right where you need our help. So please take that assessment quite seriously. That's Wednesday and Thursday next week. Looking ahead to next Friday, are you interested in art but don't have the time or supplies to do so? Are you looking for new artist friends that share similar interests? Come join the Titan Art Association. We strive to have our club full of artists no matter their level of experience. Meetings are held every other Wednesday in room 704 after school. We offer a wide variety of activities, including contour drawing, group painting, fun crafts, and so much more. Stop by on Friday of next week, September 8th, after school to check out our interest meeting. Titans, I wanna remind you that your life is a priceless treasure. Your presence here in our community, it's a gift. You are loved unconditionally. Always be truly Titan. Just a reminder that tomorrow and Monday, there is no school as we recognize the Labor Day holiday. We'll see you on Tuesday morning. Be here by 915. Go Titan!